A very warm welcome to Marketing and Data Analytics. Um, my name is Hannah and I'm the module leader. And what I'm going to do in this very short introduction section is just talk you through the module um, and give you a flavour of what we're going to be covering throughout the module. Um, this week's lecture is going to be taken by, by my colleague, Cassie Price. So please look out for her. Who's, she's going to introduce you um, to data and some concepts that are going to un underpin this course. OK, so in terms of this module, um, I'm going to look at um, what we're going to cover in terms of the essence of what we're trying to achieve with you on this module and the outcomes. I'm going to look at the two different assessments that you're going to undertake. I'm going to talk you through the schedule and I'm going to introduce you to the team delivering. OK, so in terms of the module, what we're trying to do is build in two different disciplines. One of these is about marketing, so about the key marketing concepts, and we're going to look at how marketing communications takes place. However, it can only really be effective if we understand what's going on. So we do this by looking at data and information, and we use this to inform the way that we make decisions about our communication. We build knowledge to make sure this all feeds back to the marketing message that we're going to use. Now, this is a very practical course. So on this course, we're looking at real life situations and we're going to do that by looking at different types of data, actually considering them for real life organisations. We're going to analyse them and we're going to then look at how they use this in terms of what decisions they make for their marketing. Um, so we've got two main strands. I'm going to deliver a lot about the marketing and that sort of side of it because that's my subject um, area and then my expert subject area. Cassie and Sama, they're going to be delivering the content around data and information and how you analyse and interpret it in line with the marketing frameworks that I'm going to introduce to really understand the marketing decisions that organisations make. So Sam and Cassie and Jane Monks from the library in York are going to help you understand the different types of data that we ha you have available to you. And then you can analyse that in terms of the activities which the organisations that you're considering undertake in terms of their marketing activity and departments. Um, this will then help you understand why they do what they do in marketing, why they have the capabilities they've got, and actually what sort of systems they should have in place to capture this information, especially when we consider things like big data and we consider digital marketing and all the um, capture, all the information that we're leaving behind as we interact with brands. Um, so using this information, organisations, even really small ones, can give themselves a competitive advantage. And actually, organisations can be agile and respond well to change based on a really informed approach. OK, so we've got two assignments. We have the first one is actually a group poster presentation. So you'll need to be in groups of four for this. You'll be creating a poster and you'll have to video yourselves for a total of 15 minutes for the four of you. Um, and we've got we've got an additional five minutes for you to respond to three questions that have already been set on the assignment brief. OK, so in terms of what you're looking at, you're going to um, choose an organisation. You're going to look at your specific organisation that you've chosen and you're going to look at how they use data and the benefits of using data analytics um, to inform their marketing approach. So you're going to do this by displaying a poster and th the four of you are going to talk through the findings on your poster in order to address the assignment brief. You're then going to respond to the questions so you can give them some thoughts um, and you'll record that. And so the total video, you've got 15 minutes for the presentation and five minutes for your question, is going to be a maximum of 20 minutes. And you're going to upload that presentation, the video, the link to the video, on Moodle for us to mark. OK, so that one is due in by Friday the 23rd of April at noon. The second one is an independent piece of work. So you're doing this one on your own. So you're going to select a company from the FTSE 250. So just have a think here because you could, in theory, 
pick the same organisation for the first assessment that you're choosing for the second one, um, in which case you're going to have already done some analysis on it. However, as I say, this one is definitely an independent piece of work, an individual one, so not to be done in groups. So we're looking more here at the data that we can find about that organisation. Because it's on the FTSE 250, we should be able to find, there should be publicly available information. So we're going to analyse, compare and contrast that organisation and their performance in their sector. And we're going to assess it against the risks and the environment in which they're operating in. OK, so that one is due uh, on the 14th of May. So we've got a couple of weeks later for that one. And it's an individual marketing report. So let me talk you through the schedule that we're following. OK, so I'm going to just put my um, screen capture down to the schedule. So we've got the first week um, we're going to be looking at my colleague, Cassie is going to introduce you um, to the idea of a data-driven organisation. I've introduced you to the model, so that's the module rather, so that's the introduction to the module in this presentation. And then uh, Cassie is going to talk you through in the live seminars some data-driven case studies. So she's going to bring to life the content she discusses in the lecture. Um, week two, you're going to, Cassie is going to then consider further about data analytics and data types. So she's going to introduce you to some key concepts around there, which will those which will help you with your analysis. And then in that second week, she's going to go through an assessment one guidance workshop. OK, so she's going to help you with that poster presentation and talk you through the process to follow there in your groups. Now, by the end of week two, you get the opportunity to have selected your own group of four. If you haven't done that, I will assign you to a group of four so you won't have a choice. So if you'd like to choose, very early on, you need to decide who else you would like to be working with. OK, then week three, I take over and start introducing you to the marketing concepts. So as I said, my specialism is marketing. So I'll talk to you then about the marketing strategy and the different strategic approaches we can take. And we'll start considering what characteristics make up an ideal customer, so a target customer, and how we group customers together. In the seminars, the live seminars those weeks, I'll be taking those and they will be a workshop on assessment two. So helping you with that report on the FTSE 250 company and giving you some ideas on how to promote to um, prepare for that. Then week five, still with me because we're talking about marketing again, we're going to look at the marketing mix. So the decisions we make about project, product, place, price, promotion, but also if we're looking at services, processes, people and physical evidence. Based on that, we're going to look at how companies brand themselves and how that contributes actually to their product, the product part of the marketing mix and the perceptions that we have about them. We'll do a seminar on that, which will further expand on the marketing mix. Then in week six, we have a colleague from York. This is Jane. She, Jane Monks, she's going to be introducing, along with Cassie, one of our tutors on this module, um, specialist databases that you have access to. So this is a great time to really understand the information you can access about your chosen organisations for both assessments. Then in week seven, Cassie will talk you through data strategies and how they impact decision making. So by that we've had, um, so you've had Cassie initially introducing you to the concepts around data. Then I've brought in some marketing theories and ideas and models. So you've got those. And then we conclude before East, the Easter break by looking at how all that information, when you bring it together, impacts the decision making on marketing. Um, and then Simon will further develop that by looking at this idea of a company profile that you can develop using the data that you now have access to. Then we've got a couple of weeks off the Easter break. After Easter, I shall be recapping in terms of the recorded lecture, the marketing uh, knowledge elements that you need for the first assessment. And then in that week back, we'll have one-to-one uh, -one support in the tutorials for assessment one. Um, that week, at the end of that week, on the Friday, you'll be assessing, uh, you'll be uploading the link to your poster presentation. 
Okay, the week after we'll then shift our focus in terms of the lecture onto the second assessment and I'll recap the marketing knowledge that you need to know for that and then the seminars that week will be um, to support you for assessment two not assessment one because you've already you've already submitted assessment one by then and then the following week the date the uh, lecture will recap the data elements that you need for the second assessment and the drop-in support throughout the tutorials will be again for assessment two Okay, so just to give you an idea of how things are structured every week, um, we've got, um, let me just, so we've got a weekly lecture and they will be on what's called adaptive release. So at eight o'clock on either a Monday or a Friday morning, you'll be able to access the lecture um, of, and then you'll have um, set tutorials. These are live tutorials that you have to attend and attendance will be recorded. You'll be set a group and you need to, um, the tutorial time and day, the day that you need to attend, make sure you attend because that's part of the visa requirements. So we need to show that you're being proactive and participating and attending these live tutorials. We'll make sure that you've got every week some activities that you're working towards for the group assessment. So we'll build on those. They'll connect with the lecture and the tutorial contents and they'll help put you in a really good position for your poster presentation. And then also every week on Moodle, we'll have additional exercises that you can be doing. So just in terms of those uh, live tutorials, here is a sample plan for those. So this is just a sample. So as I mentioned, on a Monday and a Friday, we'll release the lecture. So depending on whether you have seminars on your Monday or seminars on a Friday, you'll have access to the lecture at eight o'clock that day. So please log on and view that before your seminar because it will connect with it, the contents. So here's a sample for week one on the 15th of February. We've got six groups on a Monday uh, and they take place um, every hour. So you've got six slots there and six on a Friday. So please ensure that you attend the right seminar depending on which group you've been allocated. Um, I mentioned before I wanted to introduce you to the team members because you won't see us in person, which is a shame, but you'll see us online. So we've got Cassie at the top there um, and she's very much leading on the data side of it. We've got myself in the middle. Um, so I'm looking after, I'm the module leader. So it's my responsibility to make sure everything goes to plan, but also I'm a marketing expert. And then we've got Sama, who's very much going to help on supporting you with the one-to-one -one tutorials. And she's also also supporting Cassie on the data side of it. Um, so you've got the contact details there for all three of us in terms of helping you through this learning journey. But in addition, there are more people than the three of us supporting you on this learning experience that you've got. I would actively encourage you to engage with your personal tutors as you have time um, allocated to you to work with them. And actually they're there to specifically help you with any needs that you have, not just academic, but also outside academic, any struggles that you might be having that are impacting on your studies or your quality of life as a whole. So please do connect with your personal tutors. They're a really important resource to help your learning experience be the best it possibly can. Then we've got someone called David Coronado III, and he's absolutely fabulous. He's the head of partnerships and placements. So got a real work-based orientation. He also works on the Venture Creation Lab, if any of you are considering doing that and setting up your own business. And I'm actually part of that as well. So I'll be one of the people delivering on that. We've got Tom Critchlow, who focuses on academic support and will be there to support you with your assignments as well. And then we've got Jane, who's going to be joining us on week six in terms of some delivery. Um, she's based in York, but she's very much um, able and willing to support you on using the specific databases that you need to use for ass your assessments, in particular for assessment two. So there you are. I've introduced you to the module. I've introduced you to the way that we're going to do it, um, the team. I hope you're looking forward to it because we're very much looking forward to um, being part of this experience with you and making sure it's the best it possibly can be. So please, um, yeah, just be open to learning new things, applying them and, and making the most of these online live sessions as well to make them as engaging and interactive as they can. OK, thank you very much.